up, Jax? It's me, Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen here, with a new Let's Play for the first episode of Spooktober! Well, first Let's Play, but- Oh! Um, I didn't do it! But yeah, we're playing through the Risen- Ugh! The original Resident Evil. Oh, come on. Come on! Okay, but yeah. Also, I'm trying to aim for 500 subscriber goal here on the channel, so if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join my Kingdom of Heroes. What? No. Yes, don't show again. Oh, I'm sorry. Because I have played through the original Resident Evil on the Nintendo Switch. But yeah. Because it is. Because the story of Resident Evil also takes place in the world of heroes. But don't worry, we're not going to get into all that. Right now, we're going to start a new game. But yeah. Okay. Mm, okay, that's all good. I see a good exercise, but not too strenuous. Okay. Oh wait, get rid of that. Okay. But yeah, Jill and Chris, the two characters that started off in the Resident Evil franchise. But oh, also, you can swap between their original costumes and with their BSAA costumes. But yeah, so for this Let's Play, I'm gonna do Jill first. Because I might do Chris if there's time to do a second Let's Play. But yeah, well, I don't know about all that, but yeah. Okay, stay successful. July 1998, Raccoon Forest. All right, because this takes place right after the events of Resident Evil Zero. I think a day after. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently... Oh! The Bravo Nasty. team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! And... Bravo team's helicopter was... Their crashed. helicopter did crash, but... For the remaining body of Kevin. Kevin did try to repair it, and I'm guessing he got attacked by Umbrella Cerberus while doing so. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Okay. Just the build-up of it. It's awesome! Joseph Frost. And... No! Joseph! Oh. He didn't deserve to die like that. Getting torn apart like a high umbrella surface? That's just wrong. The fact that they have just become so vicious! What's this world coming to? But still, I already know, but yeah. And Brad left the group.
Nice save! <clears throat> oh! I found my voice. I'm sorry, I'm recording this early in the morning, so my voice might be a little scratchy while doing this, so... Yeah. And this is how it all starts. Well, how the original game really kicked off the series, but yeah. Enter sur survival horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What and is they made it in. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. How can you tell? Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Okay. I like this little loading screen of how you get into new rooms. Well, I mean, but still. Still. It was kind of like that for the old game. Resident Evil Zero and this remake of the original. Huh. Very weird. Oh my god, it's like I remember I it. Better take a look at this. Huh? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. I gotta admit, the remake does still hold up until hold up today. It's being great, because the graphics still look pretty good. Okay. But See if we can go anywhere else. Okay, but yeah. Not a lot of rooms are going to be unlocked in the beginning. But they will as you further continue to explore the mansion. That Oh. Uh-oh. The first zombie. Huh? <gasps> Kenneth! He is ugly. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Okay. But yeah, that was Kenneth Sullivan. One of, one of the Bravo team's members. Oh, but what is this? Ink ribbon. Yes. But yeah, I'll definitely be doing other Let's Plays throughout Spooktober. Because I figured I need a break from... I need a break from Super Mario... The Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection and Persona 5 a little bit. To, you know, play some new games for you guys and... Wesker! Yeah. Jill, help me look for... Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Well, if Wesker disappears without a trace, you know something is up. Because, I mean, who just does that right out of the blue? Huh? Oh. 
Okay, go around in circles and Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. And he's gone without a trace. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Huh? Huh. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. <laughs> if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so I gotta admit, this game is awesome. Oh, um, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, but okay, so what you want to do is because I recommend going to this room first. Because it's where you can get the map for the first floor at. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, what? Jill, I want you to push it! No! It might take me a second. Hang on. Files. Okay, stars one manual. But I love the music. Okay. Okay. Because as you can see, there's something sparkling in the vase. On that statue. Map of mansion first floor. Okay. We got some stuff. That doesn't look like the mansion. This is awesome. Okay, just getting used to pointing the gun and then shooting. What? Oh, right! Right, right, right. Come on, Jill. Trophy earned, first kills are special. Defeat a zombie. Yeah, but... Yeah, I will change up my theme on the PlayStation 4 for Spooktober, but yeah. Okay, so we can't go any further, because it looks like we're going to need... A key with the sword symbol on it. Okay. 
But don't worry, I know where to go. Yeah. Go back over here. Because it's kind of a little bit of a long trot through the mansion, you know, trotting through and just. Okay. Kenneth. Because I know there were three other STARS members who actually made it to the mansion. Because save for Kevin and others. Because I'm guessing they kind of explored the mansion and then met their fate. But I'd say if in Resident Evil 8, they should definitely mention like some of the other STARS members. Maybe those who lost their lives. I know. Oh, poor thing. Okay. Okay, combine. But I like how in the Resident Evil 3 bit remake, there's a callback to Jill's job as a STARS member. Because while you're in her apartment, you can look over to her shelf and actually see her STARS cap. What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We may be dealing with something that is very, very horrible. Because I faced these guys a lot of times in the original, and they are called Re. No, I actually scratched that, I forgot. But I do know they are very mean and vicious. Hey, hey. Don't walk away from me like that. I want to kill you. Okay, and then, okay, there it is. Yes. Okay. Awesome. More ammunition. Okay. Get out of here. But okay. And we got another dagger. Come on over here. Yeah, but it's going to be useful when you can get other weapons later. And... Because that's going to be useful for later. Because here, there's actually some stuff you can get if you have that jewel. Because the statue was holding a jewel in its hand. But also, this painting is not what it seems. But first, salmon, 
zoom in. And we got the arrowhead. Because the reason why I wanted to get that. And a passage behind the painting, even though it was kind of obvious since it looked like a door and all, but yeah. Well. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Shotgun shell. Yes! A tomb and grave with the picture of an angel. There is an indentation in the shape of an arrowhead. Oh, wait! There we go! Oh wait, I remember they're called Crimson Dead. The zombies that look red, sharp claws and teeth and act more violent than the other zombies. Okay. So for this one you're going to need to find four masks. Four masks for these four for these four face statues. But yeah. That's where the Crimson Dead is. Book of Curses. Well, hopefully we don't get cursed. Salmon. Yeah. Okay. Speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil. Okay. Yeah, but there's a Crimson Dead in there, and let's just say from experience, they can be very tough to kill. So you better make sure you're ready, because when that coffin opens, trust me, that thing is going to be mean as heck. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's get up here. Because now that we got the sword key, we can head back in. We can head back through that one door that was locked. And it's funny because my name's Swordheart. Okay, and on through. Okay. Dagger, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Come handy if I run into any more zombies. Yeah, but it's crazy. Because basically in our world, Jill is definitely a part... Jill and Chris are a part of our group. Well, not entirely, but Leon is. Oh no. 
Okay. There's some stuff back here that will be useful later. But I rather do. But I would recommend doing it later because right now, if you're pretty good at the game and have good health, it would be wise to do it later. Because there will definitely be some stuff you need for the mask, for getting the mask and everything. Well, I mean, this house has been seemed abandoned. Yes. And... Oh! Hey! Personal space, please! Thank you! No! Back off! Chill? You, you okay? Oh. 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 <sighs> Well, I mean, yeah, I think anyone would kind of throw up if they had to smell a dead, rotting corpse, you know? But okay. Let me check the map again. Yep, but yeah, the hallway's all cleared. Just gotta be careful when going. Okay, so in here you can actually get the shotgun pretty early on. If you do stuff that can trigger the cutscene with Barry coming to your rescue. Because as soon as you take the shotgun and then try to leave, the ceiling will start to collapse on you. And... Oh God, what did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill, you in there? Stand back. Come on. My hand. And oh. a little bit of a new animation right there. But yeah, we got the shotgun. Barry. That was a close one. And a second late. You would have fit the famous Jill sandwich. sandwich line. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I, I wanted admit, to check. I would really like anyway, to see Jill make a return in Resident Evil 8. Because considering Chris has gotten to make a return, I owe you I'm hoping that Jill does. Because after all, she did go... It was said that she went missing. Okay, Tripierne, what a great guy. Save Jill using Barry. But okay. Yeah, but we got a lot of other hidden trophies. To get, but yeah. Okay. <gasps> hey! Back off! Can I 
can never be too sure. Okay. That's how we get a reload. Okay. We're going to need an armor key for that. Oh. Okay, as far as I remember, you can't come out here. Well, you can't come out here early on. But there need but you're going to need what's in the coffin in order. Come on, back. Okay. Just Making me waste some my daggers. But yeah, let's get out of here. Cause mostly just follow through the mansion. Hey! God! Darn it! How many more of my daggers do I got waste on you? Darn it all out. Uh, no, Jill seems okay. But yeah. Belsil instruction for disposal of dead bodies. We have a new information regarding those beings. Them, they may appear to be dead, but okay. Gun magazine. But yeah. Those crimson heads will come back to life if you don't kill them quickly. Canteen. But, yeah. But, I'd say I'm gonna end it off here, and then the next one we're going to be continuing exploring the mansion. So? Come on, save. Hurry it up! Okay, so yeah, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more content in the future just like this, and click that notification bell for my latest videos and updates. Make sure to head over to Patreon to support my college classes and Spooktober. And yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and I'm signing out. Bye!